my name's Lucy and I lasted on Spotler in 2014 and have gone on to pursue a career in law and today I thought I'd come and talk to you a little bit about how I got into law and what I'm doing today and how this came about since leaving school. So yeah, I currently work as a paralegal at a law firm in Manchester and in September I'm moving to Liverpool to start as a trainee solicitor. So from leaving school I went on to study A-levels at college and I studied law, English, lit and history and from there I was offered a place at the University of Liverpool to study law so I went on to study law degree for a further three years and then after that for a following year I studied the legal practice course which is a course that's required to qualify as a solicitor so from leaving school I would say in year 11 I wasn't too sure myself what I wanted to do I had a bit of a brief interest in law and I thought oh I'll study it at college and see how it goes, see if I enjoy it but I definitely didn't have a set career path from that point. I think I just developed a passion for it as time went on. As I said I currently work as a paralegal so my role involves working in healthcare law so it's representing the NHS in claims of medical negligence which is a really interesting and very topical area at the moment and it does require a great deal of empathy and understanding and it's very relatable to people which I really enjoy. So that's a specific, specific area of law which you can go on to study but there's lots of different areas and lots of different ways to do this. So I thought I'd speak a little bit about how to actually pursue a career in law today and the different ways that you can go on to do that. So generally speaking, in the UK, there are two types of lawyers. So there's a solicitor and a barrister. So a solicitor is generally someone that works in a law firm that works dealing with caseloads and clients and they generally gather all the evidence and deal with the case from the beginning to the end and they're based in a law firm. A barrister is an individual that you'll see on crime dramas and all of these programmes that are wearing the wig, the gown and they present in court and most of their role is advocacy and public speaking. However now the roles are changing slightly and as a solicitor you can also be a solicitor advocate who also represents clients in court. As I mentioned as well what's really interesting about a career in law is that there's just so many areas and interests that you can have within law. So for instance, you can work in medical and healthcare law like I do, or there's obviously criminal law, so the police stations and the crime and the things that you kind of, everyone generally thinks of when they think of law. There's also finance and banking, so representing businesses and their affairs. There's family law, so divorces and child separation, children's rights. There's human rights as well, and environmental rights, so climate change and involvement in the general environment and world affairs. So that's just a couple but there's just so many things that you can actually do with law which I wasn't quite aware of at the start which keeps it very interesting. So in terms of the skills that are required to pursue a career in law, I'd say the most important thing is to just be very determined and very driven. It's obviously it's quite a lengthy career path and you do have to absolutely love what you do. I think if you've just got a dream and a desire to do that, then that will get you a lot further than you think. It's not just about the academics and getting the grades and things like that. It's about developing yourself as a person and wanting to pursue this particular career. Also, I think being very efficient and very organised and just generally having these skills that you can adapt and use for career in law is very useful. Also as well, thing to mention is the career path I chose was to go to university to become a solicitor. However, now there are opportunities to actually do a solicitor apprenticeship, which is really interesting. So for those of you who are not too keen on going to university, you want to get earning, you want to stop having your own money and you know, do it that way without going on to do further soul study. There's also an apprenticeship that's available, which is really great for you guys. And it does increase the accessibility into law, which is really good. So there's just lots of different ways to do it, really. 
But the reason I wanted to film this video today was just to show you that anything is possible and you can go to Sir Tom Spotler and take all the opportunities that are there and you can go on to pursue whatever you want to do. It's not, it's not about where you come from, your accent, how you speak, it's, it's about having a dream and a desire and wanting to do it. You'll hear at school them talk a lot about high aspirations and high targets and you'll probably get sick of hearing that after a while but it's, it's so true and it's so important that if you know what you want to do there is no reason why you can't go on and pursue those goals. And Sir Thomas Spotler is a brilliant school to do that at. There's lots of opportunity and taking advantage of things like Careers Week and find out some more information is a great way to start. So I'll finish this video by saying if you have any queries or questions or anything else that you'd like to know about a career in law or you're just struggling a bit generally with knowing where to go and you're not too sure what you're doing, you're a little bit worried about leaving school, then I'm more than happy to help. So I'm going to leave my contact details with Mrs Morby and if you'd like to get in contact then just let her know and I'm happy to answer any queries that you might have. But in the meantime I hope you've enjoyed this and found this a little bit useful and you make the most of the rest of the careers week. Thank you!